you're trained to do. Such diligent machines hopped up on speed. Of course, legally, it's for their ADD. Your focus is sharp now. You move effortlessly. Insignificant cogs turned by endless wheels. See, our schools mirror our workplaces. Top-down trickle, assigned roles, tasked rituals, never made for you specifically. See, you're a replaceable part in this big industry entity, and we've automated the process well. The work line is seamless. Just insert you, the anima, the deus ex, Machina, the spark that lights up the shell, and this big monster machine comes alive. But let me tell you, it's not so nice. This monster machine destroys everything in sight, insatiable by design, built this way, a bottomless pit. It's impossible to satisfy it. Inefficient. Obsolete, it will not stop till there is nothing left. That is the nature of his mythology. Born of gluttony, Aura Boris, he slips silently, intent on consuming himself in a slow, sadistic death. We almost delight in it. But there's another story to bring justice to our tragedy. The story of a little girl and then a boy, and their friends, and parents, and neighbors, and grandparents, and acquaintances, and soon entire nations said, no more. And they organized in scores, gathered around shared values, the desire to stop showing up to animate the monster machine. And some even stood bravely in its path. Now those who stayed behind felt burdened as they worked harder to bring the machine to its usual power. And they felt abandoned. They cursed those who left as enemy deserter. They raged because you see the machine had become intelligent, parasitic. It preyed on its host bodies, played to their dreams, their needs, their insecurities, manipulated the cogs into competition. Hmm. If I pit the cogs against each other, they'll all cycle harder to get farther. I think I'll call it a human race. And he annexed sections of himself and gave some cogs vast mobility while others remained stationary. He created a baseless value system and watched his trained fighters go to battle in the arena. Automatic destruction. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Until that little girl and that little boy said, Not me. No more. It's 2021. We're still talking about war? You adults should grow up. Yeah, read the news. Haven't you learned anything from history? It's not cool. This planet's uninhabitable. How could you let this happen? Look how much we've already lost. Didn't I think it would be a disaster? How many genocides till we get it? It's clear what they were after. Profit. This is unjust. This is unfair. This, this whole system, system is broken. I can fit in there. I have an idea. I have a dream. And soon they pooled all their wishes into one collective fantasy of a world without the monster machine, which drained the earth and demanded all their energy. It was peaceful, this vision. Quiet, simple, obvious. A world with hopeful headlines and uplifting news and us. A world where everyone had enough, where everyone was welcome, all differences celebrated, all singing the same song. You know the one about victory, the one about joy, the one about the brave little girls and boys who believed in something good and stood for that vision, naive and noble and fearless and persistent, who shouted with passion, Enough! No more! We won't mind the machine down its deadly court! We refuse to fight! We all participate in your war! We give up the desire to always want more! We're happy if everyone has what they need! Yeah! Yeah! And they agreed to see each other and honor the pain of those gone, the bloodshed and tears shed, the guilt and the blame. And the cogs met and shared stories of their love and their pain. And they began to create new identities and even new names in this new context, no longer part of the machine. 
At first they were a bit lost, and then they began to recognize each other, and recognize themselves, and the human species remembered how it felt to be connected in the organic networks weaved within communities, and bit by bit, we achieved that tremendous fantasy. Because eventually, the machine died off. When the final cog gave up the past, it was starved of human energy. And when the last smokestack blew, and when the last prisoner was freed, and when the last piece of plastic was removed from the seas, when the last refugee returned home, when the last dollar was earned, when the last bomb was dismantled, when the last coal was burnt, we finally knew peace. We became at last human beings.